is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all enjoyed that intro. What are we gonna be talking about today? Well, you probably know from the description, we're gonna be talking about the Ruger Mark IV Lite. All right, so this particular handgun is a lighter alloy design than the normal Mark IV. It also has a polymer grip. Another thing that's different about this firearm is that it has the 1911 style grip pattern. As you can see, it's much straighter uh, versus the Luger style grip pattern. So without further ado, let's go ahead and shoot this thing. We are at the pistol range today and we're gonna have some fun. All right, so I forgot to mention that the Mark IV, if you guys don't know what a Mark IV is, it is chambered in this little guy right here. It's a 22 long rifle. Um, some of the advantages of having a 22 long rifle pistol are that you get uh, basically a decent amount of stopping power for uh, not a lot of money, and you can carry lots of this ammo, uh, shoot lots of this ammo, and it's uh, you know just very, very cheap and very effective. So, All right, getting a closer look here at the Mark IV light. You can see the alloy cut upper, the polymer frame marked 2245 to indicate the 1911 grip angle here and the indication that it takes the 2245 Mark IV magazines. Uh, so it comes with two of them from the factory, but make sure that if you are buying extra magazines, they are marked 2245 compatible. Otherwise, I believe they do not work. From there, the gun sports an ambidextrous safety, so it has a safety on the right hand and left hand side, and it has a bolt release on the left hand side. So overall, the gun is uh, pretty er ergonomic. From there, I personally added this Vortex Venom Red Dot Sight. The gun from the factory does come with iron sights, but I highly recommend adding a red dot sight of some sort in order to unlock the full potential of a 22 caliber handgun. Uh, this thing does shoot um, exceptionally well with this red dot sight on here. So take that and keep that in mind. All right. The only complaint I do have about this particular firearm is the trigger pull. And if you notice in the rest of the video, pay attention to the trigger pull here. The uh, Mark IV Lite has a little bit uh, more uh, mushy trigger pull than the normal Mark IV. Other than that, the go. Other than that, though, the gun is virtually the same other than it is much lighter. And the purpose for that is so that when you add a suppressor here, the gun is a little bit more balanced and uh, overall not as heavy. And it makes it easier to shoot this for extended periods of time with a suppressor on here, with the gun being much lighter. Um, from there, there is a uh, very good place for 22 caliber handguns in your lineup. So if you are looking at adding a firearm to the collection and you do not have a 22 caliber pistol, I highly recommend one because when taking novice shooters out, it really does help them practice on some of the fundamentals and keep them um, less leery of the recoil of a gun. So with that said, there is a very good place for 22 caliber pistols. And quite frankly, I shoot this um, a lot because it's very, very cheap and it still allows me to shoot um, very, very consistently and not break the bank. That being said, let's have a look at another shooter firing the Mark IV light.
today it's uh, it's giving me fits it might have been um, it might be a little too boiled down I'm not exactly sure but it's cold as hell I'll see you next time <laughs> Maybe. I don't know